Hello everybody and welcome back to Sailing Madness. Now it is the bank holiday weekend in May here in the UK. It is Friday the 26th of May and I've been on the boat for a couple of hours now and I wasn't planning on going sailing today but you know what? I've changed my mind. I've been sitting on the boat watching everybody else go out and thought you know what? I'm going to go out as well. Now my original plan for this weekend was to stay on the boat tonight and maybe go out for tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday and maybe come back on Monday. But the winds are picking up Sunday and Monday so I think if I'm going to go out and do an overnighter then I might as well go now. It's five o'clock in the afternoon so it's going to be an early evening sail and the plans are well there isn't any plans really it's to get out and see how far I can get. I might go back to Malfa which is where I was in the last episode because at least I know I can anchor up and go to the pub and get a pint of Guinness. But I might go a little bit further. I haven't decided yet. I could maybe anchor in Mulford tonight and then head further around the island tomorrow. So we'll wait and see how things go. But I'm going to get things ready. We're going to get off the dock and we're going to go sailing. Right, so before we get going, let's just do a little map update so you can see where I plan to be heading. So here we are. This is our current position by that red triangle. That's Conway Marina. So we're going to come out across the bay here. And if I just zoom in here now, this is where we stopped at Molfa in the last episode. Now I'm more than likely will stop there tonight because I can get a pint of Guinness in the pub and you can't beat a pint of Guinness when you're sailing. And then tomorrow I might head further round the island and anchor up here. Now this is a lovely little bay. Um, never been there before so I think that's going to be the plan. Molfa tonight and then we'll head here. Uh, this is called Porth Elian. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but that's where we're going to be heading possibly tomorrow. It might end up there tonight, who knows, but uh, let's just see how we get on. Right, okay, I've done the engine checks, and now it's a question of just getting the lines together, getting the engine started, and casting off, and off we go. And it's now quarter past five on Friday evening, so it's going to be a nice evening sail, and uh, we should be somewhere nice before it gets too dark. <laughs> So we are on our way, we're out in the channel and who knows where we're going to sleep tonight. It's all part of the adventure though isn't it? So it's a lovely evening, it's uh, quarter to six, Friday evening, uh, we've got 6.4 knots of breeze so hopefully when we get out the channel that's enough breeze to start sailing. We've got another boat coming towards us now, coming back in, we're in seven metres of water, we're on a falling tide so need to be a bit careful in this channel. You know solo sailing in a channel when you just left the marina is so hard because I'm constantly putting the, the boat on autopilot running forward, picking up lines, 
taking fenders in, coming back, taking it off of autopilot, self-steering for a little bit to get us back on course in the channel. <clears throat> and then to make things worse, on this trip, we had a shoe overboard. I don't know how it happened, but my shoe came off when I was walking back with a fender. It ended up in the water, but I was able to turn the boat round, slow down and pick it up. Good practice for a man overboard situation, that. But at least I didn't lose my shoe. It's soaking wet, I can't wear it for the next couple of days, but at least I got it back on board. We're sailing into the sunset. Right, so we're doing a little bit of motor sailing now. I've got the engine on about 1200 RPM and we're doing 4.2 knots. Uh, it wasn't quite enough wind not to uh, have the engine running but I've got the main up I'll put the head tail up in a little while but as you can see little Jessie's joined me on this cruise again today becoming right old sea dog she is although it's gone six o'clock now so it is past her, uh, her dinner time so she's probably starving but she's gonna have to wait wait till we get to Molfa and then uh, then she can be fed but it's a lovely evening sail Temperature's still nice and warm, sea's still nice and flat. Could have done with a little bit more wind, but beggars can't be choosers, as they say. And if you watched the last episode, you know how I just had a steady cruise back from Molfa, back to Conway Marina. Well, now we're doing a steady cruise, but in the opposite direction. No stress on me, no strain on the boat, everybody's happy. That's how Jess prefers it as well, isn't it? Eh? That's how you prefer it, no stress. No stress, no drama. Right, as you can probably hear, the engine is on a little bit higher revs now. I've given up sailing because there's just no wind. So uh, we're going to motor all the way to Molfa. We are going to, I'm going to go to Molfa tonight. So I'll drop anchor where we were in the last episode and then I might head further up the shore tomorrow morning. See what mood I'm in. But uh, according to the charts, we're not going to get there till after 11 o'clock tonight now. So it doesn't look like I'm going to get my Guinness tonight, does it? Should have left earlier. I was humming and ahhing all afternoon, I've been on the boat most of the day today and I was watching other people coming out and I was thinking, shall I go out? On the original plan I wasn't going to leave until tomorrow, do some sailing sort of Saturday, Sunday and bank holiday Monday. But when I saw other people leaving I thought, oh, do you know what, it's a nice evening, let's, let's go. So I hummed and a bit more and then I finally made a decision and it looks like I've made the decision too late to get to Molfa for a pint of Guinness. So there you go, there's a lesson learned. Make a decision quicker, especially if it involves going out sailing. Don't dilly-dally, just go. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this episode so far, hit that like button, share the love, give me that thumb. And if you're not done so already, please subscribe. And if you are going to subscribe, don't forget, hit that notification bell as well, so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, you can do both of those for free, and they really do help the channel grow, so thank you very much. I also have a Patreon account, and if you're feeling really generous, why not become a Patreon? All my patrons get exclusive content, and they also get access to a private WhatsApp group where you can message me, track my progress as I start sailing further afield, and ask me any questions you like. As I said, details are in the box below, so please, if you are feeling generous, it's much appreciated. Why not become a patron of the channel? Thank you very much. Well, you know, I don't want to tempt fate, and I'm not a gambling man, but I think it's odds on that I'm going to get to the pub in time for a pint tonight. I don't know what planet the chart plotter was on, saying we're not going to get there till after 11 o'clock, because I think we've probably got about two miles to go, and it's only 8 o'clock, and I think we can do two miles in three hours. Even on a sailing boat, that's achievable, isn't it? Oh, I can smell the Guinness now. <laughs> Right, 
that's it, that's the engine off and we have arrived. If you watched the last episode, this will be a familiar place to you. So I've just uh, set the anchor, put the snubber on and I'm just gonna give it a few minutes just to make sure that uh, it's set and then head to shore for a pint of Guinness. I did cut my finger though, but not the end of the world. And there's three other boats here. All right, so we've been here for about 15 minutes and we don't appear to be moving. I'm looking at various transit points on the land and uh, those transit points aren't moving in relation to each other. So that's a good sign that the anchor is set. But one thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the boats behind us, they seem to be facing the completely different way to what I am. And I'm a bit concerned about that. So all three other boats are facing the same direction apart from us, apart from me, why? So I'm desperate to go to the pub for a pint of Guinness, but I'm at pains to leave the boat until I can work out why we're facing in a completely different direction. Maybe I've just not let the whole thing settle down long enough. I'll give it another 10 or 15 minutes and then uh, I'll see what I'm going to do. I think while I'm waiting now, I'll get the dinghy off and uh, get the engine on. Okay, we are in the dinghy. Let's just go for a little blast around the boat before heading off for a pint of Guinness. Right, just walking back to the tender now. Back on the beach, I've had me Guinness, I'm happy. Could have done with a couple more, but one's enough. Got to get this tender back to the boat. Then I'm gonna go off the tender and onto the boat. That could be interesting after four or five pints, couldn't it? So just one, one's enough. Okay, Jess is enjoying the water. And now I'm gonna head back to the boat. What are you doing, Willie Chucks? Okay, so we're back on the boat. I've had me Guinness, I'm a happy man. Um, I'm just a little bit hungry now. It is uh, coming up on 10 o'clock, so it's a bit late for me to be having a, a big meal. So I think I'll just do some fried eggs or something, have some egg on toast. Uh, Jess is soaking wet, she's had a great time playing on the beach. And the good news is, we've kind of, I mentioned this before, we've actually leveled out and we're facing the same direction as everybody else now. So that's good. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to have a little bit of a sleep tonight. I have once again checked and we're definitely not moving. The anchor is well and truly set. I mean, if it wasn't, we'd have moved by quite a lot by now. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much in the same position. We're certainly floating around the radius of the of the anchor, which is good news. Uh, low water is about 11 o'clock, so I will stay awake until at least then, just to make sure that we're not gonna move when the tide changes. But that's it. I think we're pretty good for tonight. Tomorrow, not going to make any decisions yet. We're going to wait and see what the weather's like, see which way the wind's blowing. Uh, might head back to Conway and call it a day, or I might go further around the island and see how far I can get. But I'll make that decision in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. It is 5.30 and I'm up a little bit early, but the good news is we didn't end up on the beach last night or even worse still on the rocks and we are pretty much exactly where we dropped the hook. Let me show you on the anchor monitor. This is what has been keeping us safe all night. Now the green circle is the 35 meter radius from where I dropped the anchor. And if I can just pull you in a little bit closer there, on the reflections of the window, but I don't know if you can make out, there's a little ship in there. I can't zoom in, is this app won't let you zoom in. Uh, but there's a little ship here, that's where we are. This red dot is where the anchor was set last night. And as you can see, we've been moving around on the anchor, but the anchor has stayed pretty much 
exactly where we dropped it. Uh, the green circle is the radius, so if we went outside of that circle, if you drifted outside of that circle, then the alarm would go off. But it didn't go off last night, and it's just been a nice, calm night. And the good news is, I didn't actually wake up apart from once for a wee. So um, I'm starting to, only the second time I've anchored on this boat, so I'm now starting to trust the anchor a little bit more, and kind of able to switch off and relax and find some sleep. If you watched the last episode, I didn't get that much sleep because I was up and down all night just checking where we are. So let me just take you outside. It was a nice sunrise about half an hour ago, but I just made a cup of tea and the sun has now gone in behind the clouds. Let me spin the camera around. There's the sunset, sunri there's the sunrise behind me. Right, well, as you can see, little Jess has decided that she's having a little bit of a lie-in this morning. Uh, I think she's forgotten that uh, it's Saturday and that uh, that means it's sardine Saturday so she has a little treat for breakfast of some sardines and she's completely forgotten what day of the week it is. Right now I've made a little bit of a plan of what we're going to do today and for the rest of the bank holiday weekend. I'll show you on the maps in just a moment but uh, I'm going to have some breakfast and we're going to get going early. I was going to chill out here for a couple of hours this morning but I think that's probably going to be a bit of a waste of time because I do want to head back to Conway later on this afternoon. I'll explain why when I show you the maps in a moment but um, the weather and the wind, well, not so much the weather but the wind is certainly going to be picking up and it's coming from a northerly direction and we're on the north coast of Anglesey so I think if I stayed out tonight at anchor it's going to be quite rolly and I don't really want to do that. I'll explain that more in a moment but I think first of all let's do some breakfast for me and for Lazy Bones here next to me. So this is where we came from yesterday, Conway Marina and we came across here and this red triangle is where we are right now. So the plan I think is going to be um, we're going to set off fairly soon after breakfast and we're going to head around this way because I'd like to go and explore a couple of these sort of bay areas around here maybe get as far as Pont Linus or even if we can come around a little bit further to one of these bays here okay now I'm not sure how far we're going to get today because there is absolutely no wind Wait, wait, go! Don't know where you're going, Jess. Come this way, Jess. Hey. Hey. Here he is. Okay now. This way, look, what's this? I think she's swimming back to the boat there. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Did you lose it? I think it might have sunk. I think it's a stone and it sunk. So I don't think you'll ever get it. So you might as well give up on that one. And we'll bring a ball next time. It's on the boat. We forgot to bring it, didn't we? Come on, let's go for a little walk. Let's get it. Morning. Go on in there. Get in there. In. That's it. Good girl. Right, stay there. Wait, wait. Stay there. Hi. Right. Now get in. In. In there. Get in there, Jess. Jess, in. Why did you get out? Go on, in. In there. In there. Right, don't get out. Stay. Wait, wait, wait. Stay there. Ah, oh. wet feet.
Right, well, the dog's been on the beach. She's used the bathroom. I've had my breakfast. Jess has had her breakfast. I got the dinghy back up on the back of the boat and I think we're almost ready to head off. Just got to raise the anchor and we'll be on our way. It's only 20 past seven in the morning and it's already really nice and warm. Okay, so that's the anchor up and uh, we are making our way out of the bay. It's only a short, probably hour trip just to have a look in the uh, in the next bay along. But there goes Morpho in the background. Thank you for the Guinness last night. <laughs> just heading out nice and slowly, no rush today. No point even trying to put the sails up because there is absolutely no wind. So it's going to be a motor all day. We'll end up motoring round to the next anchorage and we'll end up motoring all the way home, I should think, unless the winds do pick up later on this afternoon. Maybe they will, but we'll see. Bit of an impressive lighthouse up there. This is Pont Linus. And uh, we're almost at our, uh, our destination, just going round the bay over to the other side. And we'll drop the hook there for a little while, have a cup of tea. And um, the winds are picking up, actually. Um, could have a bit of a downwind sail heading back to Conway later on this afternoon. So that's good news. But the sun's come out and it's not even nine o'clock yet. So it's been a pleasant little cruise over from Malfa. Just took it easy. Just doing about 1500 RPM, four and a half knots. Could have gone quicker, but what's the point? Right, as you can see, just coming round the corner now into the bay. I always get kind of excited and nervous going somewhere new for the first time. Obviously keeping a BDI on the depth and then when we get there wondering just kind of what holding we'll get from the anchor, what will the swell be like, what will the wind conditions be like, all those questions. But it looked quite pretty. And of course the big question is how far do I dare to go in? So we're almost at the end of the bay, I can see the beach ahead. Still in 12 metres of water, on a falling tide though, so uh, I'm not going to go much further. Okay, so we have arrived, I've dropped the hook, didn't film that because you've already seen that in this video once. Uh, lovely little bay, there is a nice little beach just behind me, and over there some rocks, and a nice little power boat, that's obviously come out of Conway this morning. I think you'll be home before us tonight. Definitely come here again. Right, let's put the kettle on and have a cup of tea. Well, just chilling out at anchor. I've had a cup of tea and now I'm just going to chill out in the sunshine with this thing laying next to me. <laughs> and you're still all wet from swimming this morning, aren't you? You can't help but love them, can you? Well, Jess has just been for a nice, I would say quiet, <laughs> run on the beach. We've been playing with the ball. And as you can see, there's a lot of other dogs on the beach here as well. I know it hasn't got the uh, the palm trees and the sandy beaches of the Caribbean, but it's just as lovely. And on a day like this as well with the sunshine, it's perfect. Calm seas, what more can you want?
You don't get days like this very often in the UK. This is probably my favourite anchorage I've ever been to. And I've not been to many. So you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? <laughs> Right, so it's just gone 11 o'clock, the anchor is up and we are leaving this wonderful little anchorage. It's been a lovely day, Jess has had a great time on the beach and now we're just going to have a little slow mosey on back to Conway Marina. But I'll definitely be back here, this is well worth a visit. If you are ever sailing in these waters you need to come here, beautiful place. Looks like the wind's picking up as well so maybe Maybe when we get round and out of the shelter of the bay, there might actually be some sailing. Watch this space. Okay, after use engine check done and there's no water, fuel or oil leaks anywhere to be seen. 
so I know this engine is good to go next time I need to use it. And that just about does it for Dave for today. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Remember, as I mentioned before, if you have enjoyed everything so far, please hit that like. And let's face it, if you're still here watching now at the end of the video, you must have enjoyed it. So please share the love and give me a like. If you've not done so already, please subscribe. And also, don't forget, if you are subscribing for the first time, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I put a new video here on YouTube. And as I also mentioned earlier, uh, I do have a Patreon page. If you are feeling generous and would like to support future episodes, then please click the link below to take you to my Patreon page. Patrons do get lots of exclusive content and access to a private WhatsApp group where you can message me and ask me any question you like. So until next time, thank you for watching. From me and Jess, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.